Everyone, there is a breaking news about Tesla Giga Berlin's 4680 battery production. We knew that Tesla Giga Berlin's battery factory is in construction, but now it's moving to a totally new phase, moving from construction phase to equipment installation phase. For that reason, Tesla's top recruiter today announced that Giga Berlin battery cell team is now hiring a maintenance manager for the entire Giga Berlin's battery maintenance welcome back friends this is armin harian from talknews.com if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage and if you like this report please give it thumbs up so pascal strut senior recruiter at tesla has just few hours ago posted on linkedin saying we are hiring our tesla battery cell team at gigafactory berlin brandenburg is growing we are looking for a maintenance manager to support sustainable production as well as new equipment introduction when required. Experience in mass production industry and highly automated production equipment is welcome. And he has a link which I will have in the description of this video where you can apply if you are interested. So what does it mean? He says we are looking for a maintenance manager to support sustainable production. That means they're getting ready for the production phase uh, which involves a huge phase itself Itself, which involves installing equipment, getting familiarized with equipment, hiring more people. But this is a very serious step that the construction is getting close to end and getting closer to already equip bringing equipment uh, phase. You know, at Giga Factory Texas, we have seen construction is not finished, but Tesla is bringing lots of equipment and they are about to start production there. But now Tesla is already hiring a maintenance manager to support sustainable production as well as new equipment now when i'm looking at uh, on google i'm looking to see a maintenance manager is responsible for overseeing all installation this is very important installation of equipment repair and upkeep operations of an organization's facilities maintenance managers ensure that their co-workers have the best physical resources available to complete their duties according to the allotted budget maintenance managers are the leaders of a company's maintenance department they supervise the company's maintenance operations and processes so what is tesla looking for when you click on the link it says Tesla is accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. The successful candidate will have proven experience in all facets of manufacturing maintenance to support sustainable production as well as new equipment introduction when required. He or she must be capable of collaborating with cross-functional team and department leaders to address concerns and issues that affect part quality, production efficiency, work cell ergonomics, equipment maintenance, and etc. The successful candidate will also have exceptional interpersonal, organizational, and management skills demonstrating the ability to be an innovator and change agent. The candidate needs to have demonstrable skills in the following areas equipment operation availability system development to track current shop conditions identification of key areas and so on so what is this why is this so important this means that tesla's giga berlin's battery production 4680 new battery production is moving to a new phase moving along moving forward giving us good hopes that it will be root, uh, ready soon once it's ready tesla will start immediately producing 4680 batteries which are going to give tesla vehicles more range more efficiency and more energy density well friends are you excited let me know your thoughts lots of good news coming from tesla today this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to this channel for daily breaking tesla announcement ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage give us thumbs up like this video share in social media guys i would really appreciate it i look forward to your comments in the comment section below god bless you everyone peace be with all of you and let's look uh, to our next tesla story there is a big news coming from tesla giga berlin friends tesla will produce 500 tesla model wise per week for a month at giga berlin thanks to a waiver from local authorities by the american manufacturer of electric vehicles is still awaiting final 
final approval from the land authorities to start mass production of electric vehicles at Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you are here the first time and also ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and give us thumbs up if you find this report interesting and helpful. So the first Tesla parts will soon be assembled in Grünheide at Giga Berlin even before the final approval process has been completed. Thanks to a special permit to company, the, the company is now allowed to test the system again and manufacture thousands of Model Y bodies. I've already reported over the weekend that Tesla is allowed to build 2,000 vehicles per month at Giga Berlin as, as a test, but what we're learning today is that Tesla is allowed to build 500 vehicles per week, probably no more than 500 uh, per week. Uh, Grünheide is especially also interesting for observers because um, the, the land in Giga Berlin is uh, actually Brandenburg is interested to show that Brandenburg is a great place to do business for Tesla. Tesla and other companies like Tesla. Since the operating license of Tesla Giga Berlin has not yet been granted, Tesla has now made another application. Even before the final blessing from the authorities and courts, this ensured that the system for producing the car bodies could be extensively now tested. As can be seen from the addendum to the approval of this preliminary application, with which Tesla obtained a permit to continue the system test, Tesla now wants to put its system with significantly higher capacity to the test after a very small test run last year. In the process shop, actually in the press shop, the company is aiming to manufacture a total of 26,000 body parts in order to test a total of 13 different systems and fine-tune them for operations. This is a four weeks system test at Giga Berlin. These then in turn serve as the basis for a test of the entire line okay so you're seeing that tesla is going to test the system separately and then test uh, the entire line um, which around 500 car bodies are to be fully assembled per week in the entire line the paint shop will also be included in the preliminary operational test and should be allowed to run for up to eight hours a day since tesla is talking about the total of 2000 bodies that are required for the test run it will probably take around four weeks with the first detailed operational test and submission of all necessary documents the start of production in Giga Berlin seems to be getting closer and closer with the final permit now it will be interesting to see when the first Model Y will officially roll off the assembly line and I mean the real Model Y for sale not the test Model Y and I have no idea what Tesla will do with this uh, 2000 or 2600 um, uh, Tesla parts Parts. Uh, probably Tesla can retrofit them after the final approval and sell them at discounted price to employees or people who would like them. I don't know. What are your thoughts, friends? Let me know. What do you think about these things? When do you think Tesla Giga Berlin will finally start? But I feel that we're getting closer and closer. My estimate is probably by the end of January, actually early February, because we still have to give Tesla to uh, four weeks time to, to get this uh, entire line tested. This is Armin Hari from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you everyone and i'll see you soon in our next report let's move on to the next tesla, tesla giga story. berlin's battery production building is coming along and it looks like tesla will soon be able to complete the battery production building tobias lind who provides drone flyovers over tesla giga berlin has a new video from today with lots of great information showing how closer tesla is getting toward completing is 4680 battery factory. Tobias says the cell production at Giga Berlin's building got more internal walls and more beams are placed in the formation section. You can see that the, those segments from these pictures. In, the, in this video segment, we are seeing that the 4680 battery production building is really coming along and Tesla is acting very swiftly. It seems to me that friends, uh, with a few short months, Tesla will be able to bring in the 4680 battery production equipment to Giga Berlin and start installing them in this building as Tesla has already installed a lot of these equipments at Gigafactory Texas. 
also seems like Tesla is building a four-story building for the battery production at Giga Berlin. Tesla needs this space to build that huge EV battery production capacity, which Elon Musk once said will be the world's largest uh, battery production capacity uh, once it reaches its full um, capacity. I think from 250 to 300 giga, uh, uh, gigawatt hours. Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg is Tesla's first manufacturing location in Europe and Tesla Tesla's most advanced, sustainable, and efficient facility yet, states Tesla on its website. Slated for completion this year, early in January, hopefully, it will manufacture hundreds of thousands of Model Y vehicles and millions of battery cells for Tesla's electric vehicles. Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg Giga Berlin will be the first location in Europe to manufacture electric vehicle battery cells in-house together with electric vehicles friends let me know your thoughts on all of these developments good developments from giga berlin battery production this is armin harayan from talknews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news announcements and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and i would appreciate giving us thumbs up and liking this video sharing in social media that greatly helps me guys have a wonderful day and look forward for more tesla stories coming today i have some very interesting stories coming uh, let's move on to our next tesla story